What's up, people? It's another episode of the Big Brother Niger Review. I am Eniola. And I am Oiza. And together, we will be giving you guys odd gists and drama that happened last week in the house. The Big Brother Niger shine your eye. Housemates had their first head of house challenge last Monday with Feast emerging the winner. The head of house challenge is the first task of every week and is considered one of the most important tasks in the Big Brother Ninja show as it grants the winner immunity from the week's evictions. Like last year, the housemates got to play the game of dice. Biggie announced that the board game would remain constant throughout the season, but the challenges will change each week. Yeah, the task in Monday's night's game had the housemates reminiscing about their young the days by playing my, my head, heads, shoulders, shoulders knees, knees and, and toes. <laughs> okay, anyway, blowing up balloons and also playing hopscotch on the spot. The resident polymath, Yarin, started off the game and made it only to the first step, leaving the housemates in shock at how much more difficult the game was than it looks. Nini went next and made it to step six, but the balloons refused to blow. For Saga and Princess, the dice simply said, you shall, shall not, not pass. pass. <laughs> Cross <laughs> took his turn quickly, but couldn't beat the 72nd time to complete the course. On the other hand, Maria managed to roll all the correct numbers, keeping tax to finish strong at step 15. Wow. Peace taking a leave from Maria powers through the course, overtaking her to finish at step 16, but other housemates tried. But it wasn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't enough. Oh, more that game I die, as in. It was a close tie between Maria and Peace. Maria got 15 steps, while Peace got 16. After all the obstacles, Peace emerged as the first head of us of this season. Go oh girl. <laughs> okay. And as instructed by Biggie, she had to pick a deputy of the opposite sex in less than a minute. Guess who she picked? Yusef! <laughs> as in Oiza, like, did you expect her to pick Yusef? Well, I don't know. I feel she picked Yusef because... She's seeing what every other person outside is seeing. He's struggling, you know, mingling with the housemate. Well, it's all joy for the both of them, as they have now been exempted from nominations for this week. All right, they also get to enjoy the luxurious head of house lounge, which is fit for royalty. Let's hope your reign is a fruitful one. Moving, Moving on. on. Maria and Pierre have been revealed as the wildcats for the Big Brother Shine Your Eye season. season. Okay, they were revealed during the special diary session yesterday, which is the day five of the show. Hoiza, can you please tell our viewers what wildcards mean? Yes, wildcards are fake housemates placed by Big Brother in the house to add a twist to the show. There are also other things to know about the Big Brother Ninja wildcard twist. Now, during Maria's session yesterday, Biggie revealed that she has been chosen as a wildcard of the season and asked her how she felt about playing her role. She revealed that she felt bad for pretending to the housemate. Big Brother then asked Maria to predict who the other wildcard is and surprisingly, she mentioned Perry. Wow, Perry, like... As in, how did she get that? I mean, I, how, did she, how did she get that? Okay, so during Perry's session, Big Brother also asked him how he has been able to play his role as a wildcard. Guess what he said? I'm playing it to the best of my ability. Like, that guy is good. As in, to think that Perry was the wildcard as of yesterday morning, he was still arguing with Yerin that I don't give a shit. It could be you, you could be the wildcard. Wow, Perry really played the game well. Uh, I tried to get very engaged in several conversations that have to do with the wildcards because I know that such conversations will come up because it's only natural for every housemate to be concerned about who the wildcard is or who the wildcards are. When asked to predict who the other wildcard is, guess what Perry said? Perry mentioned Maria or Nini. Like, he really guessed Maria do. But Nini? Uh... Well, you could get confused. Anyway, the the housemates are still in a complete dilemma is as to who the wildcard is. is. Okay, so it appears that the real action has begun in the Big Brother Niger house as housemates have to correctly predict the wildcards by Sunday. If housemates are able to correctly identify the wildcards among them, Maria and Pere will be evicted. It will be so sad to see them go like anyway. Maria, how she's the ginger queen. You know? Are you sure? I think Maria has gotten on every single housemate's nerve in that house. Yeah. She has annoyed almost every single one of them anyway however, however if the housemates do not correctly identify them the duo will have to remain in the show and compete for the grand prize worth 90, 90 million, million naira. naira okay
Okay, so guys, um, we've come to the end of another edition of the Big Brother Nigeria Review from Eniola Oiza. Okay, so you guys, you can follow us on all our social media pages, Instagram, and Facebook, and on YouTube at 32FM949 Ibadan. And of course, you can get up close and personal on our personal Instagram handles at O underscore Y underscore I underscore Z underscore A. It's basically Oiza with a lot of underscores. Okay, and I am at Ayo Wumi Awe. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching.